As you may know, Postscriptum is in this like state of limbo. The lead dev apparently fired everybody and doesn't have the gall to even make some kind of announcement. It's just like radio silence and everybody's kind of waiting to find out what the future holds for Postscriptum. But I just want to let you guys know that the community is very strong. One of the strongest in gaming and is not lying idly by. The modding community is continuing to work. Competitive play continues along with events and there's even some stuff going on in the background in fact i want to ask you guys and of course leave your answers down in the comments what do you think about a possible public one life event any and all are welcome to experience the postscriptum realism mod all of the cool stuff that comes with that anyway just know breeze who could never say another word again we the community will pick up and carry the torch postscriptum is going nowhere and with that said let's jump right into this slobber knocker be careful I'm taking shots Oh, Here. boom, Come headshot. Down. 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 <laughs> on ass, on ass, on ass. <laughs> I cannot go down with you there, on ass. What the hell is on ass, bro? On ass. Guys, there's multiple fucking people. Oh, right look at you now. You wanted to go down there. Whoa, good for you, piss boy. Fucking running away from the fight. Come fucking help then, shit knuckles. Can't hear you, you're dead. He's probably, oh, uh, my dead body my... the west of the point. There is an enemy tank there. Yeah, outside the door right here, look. Yikes. Well, they are mad. Oh, I hope that grenade got out. Oh. These was bad. <laughs> Damn it. I'm sorry. I'm not the cat girl on the hour right. Tell Avery I'm sorry. <laughs> Damn it. You're gonna bleed out. Heal yourself. You're gonna bleed out. We just gotta hold. Just hold it. Uh, I wasn't gonna heal in oh, time anyway. Dummy. I'll get you up. I got it. I got it. Thank you, sir. Okay. Cover me. Cover me while I get him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I want to welcome everybody to the Milsim Tax Shooter and Historic Gaming channel. There is no better time to be a subscriber and make sure you ring that bell because we have a plethora of awesome Steam Keys for the weekly Steam Key giveaway. If you're new around here or maybe you've been stuck under a tactical rock, that's right, we give away a Steam Key at the end of the week every week. For details on how to enter, just stay tuned till later in the video. But that's right boys, it's in its infancy, but I'm in talks with some fellas from the Big Red One Gaming BR1 and we're going to try to put together a weekly one life event more than likely it'll take place on the weekend but the idea is that some of you guys like myself with busy schedules that just don't have time for a regiment can still experience the amazing time that is a one life event but just stay tuned because there'll be more to come on that as for now we're gonna jump right into this extra immersive no hud gameplay my squad was firing on all cylinders this game as you see we quickly took that first point jumping into this second point action we've been held up for a while however me and the squad leader decide to take a little walk and got our boys in position for a pretty gnarly flanking maneuver. Also, if you would like to turn your own hood off, I'll have directions down in the pinned comment. Alright boys, notice the trigger discipline. Because I didn't shoot, my patience was rewarded and I got two kills instead of one.
Guys, if you do get a chance to spawn at the rally, there's probably going to be dudes due west, southwest. Oh, it already's hot, damn it. Going up in the watchtower like an idiot. <laughs> Boogie, you didn't see that guy right in front of you? I know, I saw him die. Hey, I'm just your staff. Oh my goodness. Keep in mind there is absolutely zero heads up display on. And long story short, the flanking maneuver worked, the cap was neutralized by the time I died, and our boys rolled in right behind me and finished the cap. So now we're on to the third and probably the toughest point in Hagenau. There's one camp in there. Oh god. Oh snikies! Holy snikies! <laughs> This airfield at Hagano may just be one of the harder points to capture, especially among the newer maps, as it is basically surrounded by no man's land. The only way in is total team cohesion while using all the ordnance available to your team, like Commander Artillery, Artillery Smoke, and of course, every infantry player must get his throwable smoke out, preferably before death. Thank you. Let's get the smoke out, guys. So we can get from here to the building. I got you. Oh god. Thank you. Push it to the build. Go for it. Boogie, what do you think about moving the rally to the northwest of the point? Yeah, Switch it up a little bit. I'm not opposed to it. They're in the building, they're in the building. Oh dang, their tiger just went down. I think there's a tiger. Nice. Now's a good time to push. Ah, oh, I'm dead. One German down. Grenades when you spawn at the rally, boy. How do you like me now? Ooh, is that a bad guy? Much appreciated, medic. Oh my god! What's that? With our entire team focused on a full frontal attack from the south, I took it upon myself to flank the east side, as I knew control of that most eastern building was vital. However, once I got there and noticed its vacancy, and lo and behold my favorite semi-automatic weapon in my hands, I decided I would try to slip behind enemy line, and what unfolds back there may have been just enough to break the front. Push. 
Okay, building just to the northwest of the point looks clear-ish. I take back everything I just said. Oh, check it out. Oh, oh. To the north of the point. Oh, you'll see me. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Oh, it's not safe. Oh, oh, oh! Dude, I'm on a killing spree. I'm behind enemy lines on a killing spree. I'm watching you on the map. Okay, I got hit by an MG. I'm healing. Oh my god, easily 10 kill streak, easily. Maybe more. Our all out full frontal attack was finally breaking through, and I, for whatever reason, decided to wrap around back in to see if I could come up behind some defenders. Alright, I'm coming around from the back. Taking it. Oh yeah, we're on the point. Whoa, we got some big shells coming in. Sir, gentleman and a scholar. And with the medic scraping my lifeless body up off of the floor and patching me back together, I was then able to celebrate with my platoon in one last little victory of taking that airfield at Hagano. Yeah, we got it. We need to get going to the next point, squad leader, if you want to spawn at that fob and make a vehicle tent. Bum rush that next point. I don't know, we've got like 10 seconds left. No! GG. However, as you can see, it was too little too late. But let's keep in mind, folks, the real winners are those that have the most fun. <laughs> Alright, boys, I hope you enjoyed today's postscriptum gameplay video. Man, turning the HUD off is quite the experience. It's going to take a little getting used to, but I definitely suggest it. It is much more immersive. And make sure you know all the little tips and tricks to really spot out and differentiate friend from foe. Most of you probably already know, in case you don't, the Wehrmacht, when running, holds the rifle in one hand, and the allies hold it with both hands. Just little stuff like that will help you not to team kill so much. All right, I want to give a special shout out to my channel members, the Millcent Minions. Consider joining the ranks, get exclusive content, and get double the entry in every week's giveaway. And speaking of this week's giveaway, Mr. J Real of BR1, come on down and make your selection. Also today, I want to give a big shout out to BR1 Gaming. If you're looking to take your Milsim and tax shooter experience to the next level, consider joining BR1. One of the biggest, friendliest regiments in this little niche genre of ours. I'll have a link to their website also down in the pinned comment. Check them out. But I, but I, but I, but I guess that's all, folks. I'll see you in the next one. Y'all be good to each other.